Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy V. I'm getting in the submarine and we're going underwater. Are we? Yes, we are. Who would have thought all I had to do was press A to go underwater? That was the easy part. So anyway, well, there's one more area in the world here that I haven't actually looked at yet. And to be perfectly honest, there's really no reason for me to. Since I don't have a summoner, and really the only reason to go up there would be to get that summon. Let's see, where are you at? Right here? I guess I could kind of check it out because it's a sort of interesting, but... I don't really know, like, I was, I'm always, like, wondering, you know, because... It's not required that we 100% this or anything, and being that I am on a deadline here... <laughs> it might make more sense to do something else. Okay, so I'm kind of, like, going with a tunnel vision here and just... Oop. Holy crap, oh, whatever. Yeah, it's just, I mean, the level 4 quarter is the way to go about fighting these guys, so I kind of just had that in mind from the beginning. Oops. I forgot you had that. Okay, whatever. Here, Terran. Might as well do something else here. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So these guys aren't too bad. If you just level 4 quarter them, the rest is pretty simple. As long as you don't heal them like I just did. So when you do that, you're being stupid. All right, man. Do to fix her up down there. Fix that wagon. And then terrain this. Yeah, monsters down here aren't really a big deal. They'll just... Like I said, if you got level 4 quarter, do it. If you don't, don't! Because maybe you don't feel like it. These guys have got very good evasion all of a sudden. Well, evade this! <laughs> you can't evade fire, can you? What you gonna do, stop, drop, and roll? Oh, alright, fine. Victory, pretty good experience, though, I can't lie there, i tell you what. Yeah, but I mean, uh, hypothetically, if you were coming here, like, with a summoner, you might want to come here and get it. I don't know. It's not a huge deal. Just maybe bring some soft potions with you, you know, just in case. There's a Chocobo Forest over here, I'm not really sure why this is here. But it is, so... Work! What's up? It's a female Tokubo, we can't ride it. Ugh. The innuendos just never stop, let me tell you. Is there anything else here? I love the way it's got, like, you know, a little circle surrounding you so you can see where you're going. It's kind of how it really is when you walk into the forest, you know? You're entirely cut. Well, I guess there really is nothing else here. You're entirely covered, I was about to say there, and then I kind of cut off my own sentence to say something else. So yeah, that's, that's literally all there is here, is just the Chocobo Forest, and of course, this encounter. That's not the encounter I was hoping for. But terrain will do more than suffice to finish these off. Um, let's do that. Yeah, Leaf Dance, well... <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, don't... Hang on a second. Yeah, I was gonna say, there was something here that I was forgetting, and I wasn't sure what it was. Well, I just found out. I like being able to show stuff like this, though. I'm just thorough like that, I guess. Maybe even to a fault, but... But man, look at that experience, though. And you get some revivifiers, because why not? Yeah, okay, screw this. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave, because it's not worth wasting the time here. And we'll be doing that very soon. Let me just find my way back to... Mr. Guido's cave here. So we can advance our story. Just look for the look for the coral reefs. Here we go. We don't need to sleep, we just did that. I just blew you, nose! Okay, so what do we got in here? Oh wow, how about that? Oh is this regular attacks, I guess. I except don't oh my god, are you ever gonna you're never gonna learn, are you? You're just never gonna learn. It's like in the grocery store, right? I was looking for honey the other day. And for the life of me, I could not find it. I walked around there for like 10 minutes. And I was just like, where the hell is the honey? And eventually I found it. And everything was good. A couple weeks go by, I run out of honey. I gotta go back in there and get some more. Can't find it. Can't remember where it was. And then at some point, I walked, I was thinking, okay, I'm pretty sure it was in aisle five, right? So, I go over there, and halfway down the aisle, I spot the tartar sauce. 
and then I am reminded of how there was some other time that I couldn't find the tartar sauce. You know? It's like, when did I get so bad at grocery shopping? Seriously. It shouldn't be that hard to find this stuff. The tartar sauce is usually right around where the mayonnaise is, you know? Because it's basically the same thing. Or, or so I've heard. Okay, this guy, well... <laughs> this guy's a strange animal, let me tell you. Change? And that's why, right there. Wait, cat? I, I really should look at my notes here, but, um... There is one transformation that this guy can make that will use a blue magic spell on you that you can learn, but there's actually, like, very shortly later on, we'll be able to learn that same spell. Oh, now he's going back to normal here. I guess he didn't like being a cat. Who could blame him, really? I mean, seriously? Yeah, I don't know why I'm still using the ancient sword here, or what is that? Might be the sleep sword. That might have actually put him to sleep. You know what? Here, heal him up. Don't forget your place in this world, Tim. Or don't forget your point of view here. Wow, that did pretty good. Okay, what's he gonna do now? He's turning into a frog. An elf toad, I don't know. It's... I could put an element on my sword, but with all that transforming, I'm kind of afraid that... Ugh, well... He might turn into something that absorbs it, you know? I mean, I don't want to wanna have to deal with that. I don't know, his weakness doesn't seem to change. Yeah, 777 gill, whatever. That was fine. It's an empty box. There's a big rock inside. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. So by dropping the rock in different chests here, we open different doors to go forward. And open more passageways like this. Is that... can I go over there? It sure looks like I can. <laughs> Sort of, I don't know. It might be like a dead end or something. Check these all out here. Oh, so heavy. Uh, I don't hear Link complaining about all the heavy lifting he's been doing in Breath of the Wild, so... I'd say just such a trap. Okay, so here's something else you can do, though. This thing that I've been doing against basically every monster around here. Use it on him. Then all he can do is attack he won't be able to transform him. Because of that, you actually have a chance at getting a certain drop from him. A staff, in particular. It's a staff of light, which is basically, or well, it's like a rod, basically. And you can break it to cast a holy spell. I don't know how useful that would be, but I figure, you know, wouldn't mind having it, I guess. Well, if you want him to drop the rod, you have to kill him really fast, as in, like, before he has a chance to transform. But, if you just berserk him like this, he never will transform, because all he's doing is attacking, so... We just... oh my god, I'm not even remotely thinking about what I'm doing here. Okay, you guys get back on this here. You keep putting him to sleep like that, that's not bad. Alright, you... kill yourself. Definitely now, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah, get back on that terrain there. That was working just dandily. I was doing just fine until you brought me to this rock. And then Jacob's like, no, you weren't. None of you. I didn't pluck any of you out of a happy existence. You were all flawed. And then Kate asked him, well, why did you, you know, why did you, uh, pick me? And he's like, because you became a mother. It's like, way to go, dude. Way to remove her immunity. You know from the man in black by crossing her off the list. Ah, uh, well. Oh, shoot. We'll be okay. Whatever. This might... Oh, this is just a dead end. Well, huh. Shoot, she didn't have learning on, so... Oh, shoot. Well, the, the spell that I was talking about earlier, that blue magic spell... Um, well, he used it, but he used it on Ferris, and she doesn't have learning on her second ability because she's got blue and terrain. Does anybody have learning? I mean, it doesn't matter right now anyway. I just wouldn't even worry about it. Actually, I should probably drop a few potions on Gallop here. Well, actually, we could try spreading the wealth a little bit here. I still want to give Lena something to do in battle here. It sure is heavy, man, I tell you what. 
Uh, yeah, why not? Is there not like a... there's a secret passage in one of these rooms, I don't remember which one it is. This might not even be the right cave, actually. Oh, okay, let's just get out of here. I feel like fighting these buttheads. Here we go again, kids outside the window. You went all day today without doing a single thing out there, and now that I start recording. It seems to be a curse among the Let's Play. It's like the new Let's Play curse is you know, open windows. <laughs> Wait, did I just, I just came in through there? I suppose it happens to the best of us. Oh no, this is the room. This is the room that has it. It's right down. Yeah, right there. There we go. <laughs> Those stairs going down. Alright, wait, oh. We'll go down a little further than we thought there. Yeah, I'm just not bothering with fighting anything anymore in here, especially not those Transformers. Yeah, they don't give any experience anyway, they just give job points. It's not the worst thing in the world. Besides, we're running up our count on runaway from battles here. Oh, boy. Had me going for a second there. Alright, where is that? There we go. You had to be in here somewhere. Alrighty. Are we there yet, Mommy? Oh, here we go. What? Well, this really is Final Fantasy VI, isn't it? Jeez. Turtles and everything. It looks like we just warped into the same room here. I don't know. No, maybe not. I find myself being drawn inexorably towards that path, but at the same time... What's up, dude? What's this turtle? <laughs> hey, who are you calling a turtle? Looks like a giant toidle in a trench coat. You're going to LaGuardia, right? Uh, dude? Seriously? But this is fun! We're having fun here. Cut that out! Oh, no. It spoke? <laughs> Sage Guido, I am so sorry for his impoliteness. That's right, the turtle is the sage. Because as if they just couldn't get weird enough, you know? Yes, he is. How could you be so rude? I don't know. I was having fun, I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine, he says. Sorry, it's fine! Anyways, I have something to tell you, you must hurry. Is it about Extus? Yes! The thing he's after is in the Great Forest of Moi! The Great Forest of Moi? Is that where people go to kiss each other or something? Uh oh. About 500 years ago, an evil spirit sealed in the Moi Forest turned one of the trees into a monster! The tree is Extus. Wow! Yes, I just told you that. I just told you that the final boss was a tree. It's a good thing he can move. It wouldn't be much of a final boss if all you had to do was swing an axe. But even then, that would probably be too much for you because you need chainsaws these days, you people. Hmm. Okay, turtle bud. What's the deal here? <laughs> Man, I hate punkers. Especially bald ones with green makeup that wear m masks over ugly faces. The Forest of Moi is alive! No matter who they might be, anyone who enters the forest will be attacked! Take this with you. And get out of my face, will ya? Well, what did you give me? An axe? Nope. Elder Branch. Do we just rub it on ourselves so that the trees don't attack us? Huh. Well, I suppose so. It's too bad I was just over there, but uh, that's actually where I started this video, and we're gonna, go, gonna gonna end up going right back to it, I guess. Now, if I had the exit spell, I'd be more than happy to, you know, just exit out of here. But since we don't have that, we we'll just have to make do here. In fact, if anything, I'm probably just gonna meet you back at the sub because I don't really see any need to show all this, especially with all the encounters we're gonna hit up on the way, like this one. Well, we made it out no worse for the wear, so let's all head on back over there. I kept trying to think because I know I'd seen this forest before, but I had no idea where it was on the overworld. This is really weird because normally 
you know, so a place that iconic would be something that you would remember where it was. But it's funny because I don't remember. At least I didn't. I didn't imagine that it would be up here. I kept thinking it would be like, I don't like up in the northeast corner where all the Moogles were, because that's like the other big forest of the game. So you kind of think, oh, well, maybe it's there, you know, that's the other big forest. Maybe that's the one they're talking about. Actually, when, when you first get there, I remember thinking then that was going to be the forest, but no, it's actually over here. So what I'm going to do is save. I want to take a look at some things here, though, because I see Bart's already mastered the Blue Mage, so I should really do something here. Ferris has mastered Geomancer, so what if I just flip-flop them? So that now Bart's is a Geomancer with the... Uh, actually, I'm going to put it on learning because there is a blue magic spell we can learn here. And let me see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we want that. So he's not going to be looking to use much power here, so I'll put you in the back row here. And then Ferris, now you're going to be... Gallop's the only one who hasn't mastered Blue Mage, so you know what? I think what I'm going to do is put him on Blue Mage, right? Okay, and then that means Ferris would be the Mystic Knight, so boom. Cool. Just right now I want to have everybody in the back row, you know? It just feels more comfortable that way. Now let me go see if I can find, or at least buy, you know, make sure I have something for Ferris here. Because apparently I don't, I don't know how that happened, but I guess maybe... Alright, so I just grabbed Diamond for her, it matches everything else she's wearing, so might as well. Pretty good defense, too. So now she's fully decked out. Okay, well, hang on a sec. Oh, you're using the Guardian. Okay, then take off the Elf Cape. And let's give the other Elf Cape to you. Maybe? Oh, that's a harsh drop in defense, though. What about you? Hmm, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. Whew! Alright, what's out here? Whoa, hey, I don't think I've seen you guys before. And I won't be seeing you for very long, either. Cure Beast? I don't know. Uh-oh, I didn't give her a second command? Well, shoot. Ain't that about a bitch. Here. Let's see if we can figure out what these guys are all about here. That was cool. <laughs> terrain as well. It's the only problem with using terrain in the woods is you end up with a single targeting attack sometimes. And one of the big draws of the Geomancer from the beginning for me was just being able to multi-target, so well, I don't even have much for you to do, really. This is taking way too long. Can we just hurry this up? There we go. Of course, that doesn't exactly do... Well, I got everybody in the back row here, which is kind of a problem because, you know, they're not doing anything. Tempting Tango. Okay, now you're confused. Well, how about we wait this out? Thanks! <laughs> Do that again. I was expecting the Final Fantasy IV heal sound. Alright, enough of this crap. What am I doing? This is kind of an awesome way to get a free heal, though, isn't it? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this until just now, but with the Dancing Dagger, I probably could have confused one of those fan enemies and got them to use White Wind on me. I wonder if that would have worked. Because that's the only way that I could possibly confuse an enemy in that area. Alright, the branch. This is honestly probably one of the saddest songs I've ever heard in a video game. And maybe it's just because of... ...certain things I can't really talk about. Oh, uh, look at here. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just wanted to take a quick look at something here. Oh, good. Great. I'm gonna have these guys up here trying to mess with my stick here. Fortunately, level 5 Doom takes out the trees, but the mini-mages are a whole nother story, so... Best luck with them is probably just terrain. Yep. I knew I brought it for a reason. 
Since there's only two of them, it doesn't matter so much that you're single targeting, and holy moly, look at the experience here. We're gaining some levels, let me tell you. I believe this will be the point at which we breach 1000 HP. Ooh, what do we got here? Alright, never mind. It's not so bad. I need to keep stopping here to look at my notes. I'd rather just pause the game and look at them, you know, than to be sitting here trying to look back and forth between the screen, trying to put in commands and read at the same time and all that crap. Just don't mess with any of that. You can also use arrow on those, I guess, if, you know, maybe I'll try that next time. When you finally want them to do something that they don't. Oh, hey, Tiny Song, that was uh, something. That was actually the spell I wanted to learn here, the blue magic spell. So hopefully he had learning on, if he didn't, well, we'll just have to wait for him to do it again. That leaf dance is getting progressively stronger every time we use it. God, all right. Here, you just do that. And you... well, you can probably heal him. Let's see here if this is gonna work. I mean, I'd, again, it's like another one of those spells where I probably won't see myself using it too often. But it's there. And learn Tiny Song. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Of course, we'll have to fix it out of, you know, out of pocket here, but... It's not too bad. I think there's anything else over here. The encounter rate in here is like really stupid high, so... I'm not even messing with those back attacks right now, let me tell you. Alright, so what are we looking at? You, 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 you. That should be good for now. Just gonna keep looking around here. Man, those guys just dropped a tricorn. I don't even remember. Now I don't even remember where I was. Oh, I see. Between the ether. And over here, if you talk to these trees with little holes in them, you can get sap. You can also get attacked for no reason. Holy crap, Lena just learned Prey? I don't even know what that does. Oh, she's got learning over here. Okay, well, I don't need that anymore. So, what is that? Heal various conditions? Huh. Okay, I'm curious. I didn't know this was in this game. Oh god, get that off of her. Seriously, dude. Oof. Did I not have this on her before? Oh, well, of course I did, and then just rearranged it again. Coronet, Tricorn, okay, you're good there. Left hand, you're not using a shield, so poop worth it. Oh, oh, oh. Also, Ferris is, uh, blinded over here. Blinded by the tree. Wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the bee. It's kind of relaxing in a way, but man, it's just so melancholy. It's even worse when you know what happens here. Well, here goes Prey, for what it's worth. Oh wow, that totally looks cool. Is that just for status ailments, though? I'm afraid it might be. It might also be randomized, so I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. Don't give up on the Lord Almighty. He has not given up on you. No, it's just the same thing over and over again, isn't it? I'll keep trying it, but... Ooh, nice! Man, from the back row, too. I feel like there might be one up here somewhere. I completely lost my sense of direction. Yeah, there is one over there, okay. Yeah, I guess if there's any good news about those mini-mages, it's that they do run out of MP pretty quickly, so... You don't have to worry about them doing too much, you know, wreaking too much havoc. Alright, oh, I done forgot where I was going again. I don't know why that battle just seemed to take a while. Alright, starting to gain levels again here. Or at least we're up to the next one, whatever that happens to be. Over right here, oh wow. Oh no, for a second I saw 11 under abilities and thought that was how many experience points I needed for the next level. Should have known better. 9,000, yeah, but he just gained a level. 1,600 and... 2,000. 2,000, yep. Actually, that's technically correct. It's 2,000, you know, in a more traditional sense. Okay, not too bad. I think I'm getting lost here, though. Oh, maybe not. That's a lot of gill. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think they might be trying to tell me something here, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Prey here. All that does is heal status ailments, I'm... Oh. No. I wonder if I put this on, like, and healed in between battles, if that would affect it. I don't actually know. I'm gonna put you on blue for a little bit here. Because Ferris is already out of... Ugh. Oh. It's already out of MP. I know I got a safe point coming pretty soon here. Oh, there goes that level we were about to gain. We just did it. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, there's the tree right there, I guess. I was thinking there was one more treasure in here. Maybe there was, I don't know. Nope. I just talked a little way. Oh, she got some magic back. She probably got it by dancing, actually. <laughs> Crap, I'm gonna spill that there. Just put it away for now. I'm a little too apprehensive, maybe, about consuming my resources. Because I know chemist is super duper useful, but I also want to be careful about using up too many of my items to the point that I might not have something that I need in the near future, because I'm not exactly watching it that close. I know I'm down to like eight on a couple things. I mean, Phoenix Downs, I was down to like six or something. You never know, you might need those or something. Anyway, so we talked over a battle, yay! And Ferris is on our way with that Mystic Knight, I'll tell ya. Picked up a couple high potions there, not bad. Not too shabby at all. No underground encounters, I've noticed. Hmm. Cabin. Sabin. No. <laughs> well, at least you can kind of see him from here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I don't think I've seen that before. Oops. Ah. Crap. Let's get the level 5 Doom out first, so that way we can work everything else out from there. I'm not actually too sure about these guys. Okay, well, the little shiny things basically have no HP at all. So, yeah, see there? These are susceptible to level 4 quarters, so we're gonna do that. They're not nearly the embodiment of nastiness that they were in Final Fantasy VIII, we'll put it that way. Quick sword dance is enough to dispose of them quite efficiently. Giant drink. Alright, let me see. Do I need... no? A couple whacks of the healing rod will fix that. Here we go, or this. This works too. That is a save point. It doesn't quite look like one, but that's what it is. It's just funny how it's out here in the open like this, because usually they're tucked away in a room or something, you know? This place is so much bigger than it looks, I tell ya. Morning Star, I don't really have much use for that. I imagine that's probably a whip. Man, I just had a random flashback of Poe folks. No idea why. Uh oh! What'd you do, Poe folks? Huh? They used to have such good fried chicken. There was another place we went to in Georgia a lot. It was called Charlie Williams. And, oh no, no, actually, I'm getting confused. There were two places, actually. One of them was Charlie Williams, the other was called Parsons. They both had superb chicken. So I'm gonna come over here and grab this. Aegis Shield, this... The contents of this chest will change, depending on when you pick it up. But, oh boy. Uh, what they don't tell you about this, though, is that the Aegis Shield gives you a 1 in 3 chance to evade magic. Which is actually pretty super. So I'll put that on her, for sure. This Mystic Knight's already known for being pretty good against magic here, so why not? Where do we go? What do I do? Where do I go? Why can't I get the thing with my voice? There we go. That's better. Uh oh. Hello. Is the ground becoming unstable on account of the fire? Can I move? I see you over there, Koopo. Let me get over there to you. And then I can just Koop hop right on in. <sighs> Greatest cutscene in the game, right there. Well, actually, that's a little later, but anyway, free heal here. Yes! What you got to say, Koopo? 
Kubo. Well, he. So this is kind of another timed event here. You basically just kind of have to wait this out. Because the forest is burning up there, and we don't want to be walking through that because we're not the guy from Firewatch, and we don't do that. Okay, I guess he's checking it out now to see if it's better. And then eventually he'll let us in. You know what? Heal again. Even though I just did it, it would feel good to do it again. Just get that second scrub, you know. Get that second scrub, man. Is everything okay? You wanna... Kupapo. Now when we come out here, the, uh, the forest is, like, totally different. Now we can actually see. That does help. Still have random encounters, but it won't... I'm not sure why I do half the things I do in my life, though, you know? It's fine. As long as nobody asks, you don't need a reason. You don't have to justify yourself to anybody. Obtain soot. Pitch black soot. Here we are again, huh? Oh, we have somebody that's over a thousand HP, I just noticed. Holy crap, I don't know when that happened, but it must have been, like, pretty recently. Well, I did say that we gained that level not too long ago. That was probably it. Damage on that leaf thing is pretty variable at times. It's a little fickle. Tempting Tango. Like, what exactly are you tempting them to do? You know? Like, is it supposed to make them horny so it's tempting, you know, to... I don't know. It's just the, the small questions we ask ourselves, you know? Everyone does it, don't even lie, you do it too, I'm sure. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know. Oh, hello. Flame tongue. Good lord, man. We're gonna get a tongue print here. I don't know if that's the best idea. I don't know. You can't even equip it anyway. But what about Galif? Can you equip it? You cannot equip it either. Well, in that case, I will just not equip it, period. Man, this place just got burned to a crisp. What even happened here? They did warn us that something was going on here. Okay, well, this is pretty much it. Here we go. It's that. It's three trees and then a really big one. Looks an awful lot like a certain tree from a certain game called Mystic Quest, if you know what I mean. It's not the first time I've brought up Mystic Quest here. I guess... yeah? The branch. Sing us a song, Michelle Branch. You want, what, you want to take requests or something? Then uh, how about here with me? Or you set me free? Or... Hotel paper. I don't know. Not exactly the most epic way to end, end a video. I guess maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, so, well, you either do or don't know what's coming here. And if you don't know what's coming, well, don't spoil it for yourself. For the love of God, please don't, because it's really good. It's honestly probably one of the best scenes in any Final Fantasy I've ever played.